Okay, so this is the uh, final, so sort of slightly smaller pack of cards that came in the Deck Builders Toolkit. This is before I get onto the actual booster pack, so we'll have a quick look through here. Um, first up, we got Terramorphic Expanse, which is from M10, and that's uh, a common um, Mind Control. It's an uncommon. That's from M10. Send car. Summoner's Bane, Wall of Frost. So these that look like they're uncommons. M10, Air Elemental, Frost Wind Invoker from Rise of the Eldrazi. There, that's a common. Uh, Surakar Banisher from World Wake, Mysteries of the Deep from World Wake. Into the Royals in the car, Ice Cage M10. These are all commons here. Um, Essence Scatter M10. Another Terramorphic Expanse. M10. Marsh Casualties. That's an uncommon from Zendikar. Quest for the Grave Lord. Uncommon from Zendikar. Goblin Artillery. Uncommon M10. Rise from the Grave M10. Uncommon. Flame Sash. Rise of the Eldrazi. That's uh, a common. Uh, Dead Reckoning. Wild White Common. Runus Minotaur. Uh, Zendikar Common. Hideous End. That's from Zendikar. These look like they're all commons again. Lightning Elemental M10. Doom Blade from M10. Another Terramorphic Expanse from M10. That's interesting, that's uh, an uncommon from Rise of the Eldrazi, Arrogant Blood Lord. Um, there's a Zendikar uncommon, a uh, Vampire Nighthawk. So we've got some more uncommons here Gatekeeper and Malikar, uh, Zendikar 1, Feast of Blood. That's from Zendikar. Uh, Bloodseeker from Zendikar. Back to commons here. Vampire Lacerator from Zendikar. Then another uncommon from M10. Consumed Spirit. Vampire Aristocrat from M10. A common. Sign in Blood. Some M10 commons here. Tendrils of Corruption. Another Terramorphic Expanse. Um, it's good you're getting a lot of Terramorphic Expanse here. Um, I don't know if you can see what the card actually says very clearly. Again, I apologise if you're f familiar with um, Magic already. But, um, interesting card, this Terramorphic Expanse. Um, search your library for a basic land card and put it into the battlefield tapped. Then shuffle your library. So what it allows you to do is fetch a land from your library and uh, bring it into play, albeit tapped, so you, you'd only be able to use it next turn, your next turn. Um, and, of course, that does mean that it's possible to so-called fix mana if you're trying to get spells out, um, and maybe you don't have land in your hand that allows you to play spells. And again, um, for anyone who's not familiar with... Um, uh, magic, you can see in the top corner there's the sort of cost of that card. So that's basically telling me that it means what needs one red mana and four other in any colour. So it's quite important, obviously, that you have lands in order to generate mana. Um, and what Terramorphic Expanse does is allow you to fetch lands out of your library to enable you to be in a position to better play um, cards. Um, that require either combinations of lands or you maybe have a mix of cards which require different mana. And so obviously it makes your deck, or makes you much likely to get into a position where you can't play out cards because you don't have the right colour mana. Um, so, and you know, different sets, um, you know, in, in the past and probably in the future will have variations on these sort of fetch land type cards. Uh, that's... Um, there's a fellow could file that I was just sort of picking up, and that's um, uh, 
an uncommon, it's difficult to see in this light actually, um, from Mazi Eldrazi. Um, that would be from World Wake, that would be an uncommon bestial menace. Looks like we've got some uncommons here. Um, World Wake, Zendikar, Common, Trusty Machete. That one there was Summon Apes. Um, Shatter Skull Giant, which is, we're back to some commons here. Um, from Zendikar, another Zendikar Goblin. Shortcutter, another Zendikar Common, Torch Slinger. M10 Common, Giant Growth. Um, M10 again, Centaur Corsa, and Borderland Ranger, which is M10. What I'm hoping to do when I post these as well is list all the cards so you can you know, see overall what was in the the pack, and then if you you know if you happen to get one, you can then compare that. Um, and I'll be quite interested in what other people get actually. Um, because there's not a lot of the listings of these at the moment out on the internet and I may obviously try and track them down and compare against those. So that was the one that was in, in a, another pack in the, in the deck builder's tool kit. And so in the next video I will be moving on to what is in the booster packs.